Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen and I want to welcome you back to another edition of Your Adrenal Fix. Today I wanted to talk to you about mitochondrial dysfunction. You know, there's a lot of controversy out there on whether or not there's such a thing as adrenal fatigue. Doctors don't accept it as an actual diagnosis. I talk a lot about that on my Adrenal Fatigue Society site. I've, wrote, I've written a nice blog about why they do that and why they don't accept adrenal fatigue as a diagnosis. But I did want to tell you that potentially as I do more and more research, I think that adrenal fatigue as a diagnosis is too limiting. And what I mean by that is, is that, of course, your stress response from chronic exposure to an unhealthy relationship, to stimulants, um, to unhealthy diets, to unstable blood sugars, to infections, all of that is going to impact your adrenal glands, absolutely. And over time, with repetitive exposure, those adrenal glands get tired and they don't mount a great response, and they don't settle down inflammation, and they don't stabilize blood sugar, and they result in fatigue and energy issues, and focus and concentration and sleep for sure, 100%. But what ultimately is happening is there is mitochondrial dysfunction, more so than adrenal gland dysfunction. So there is mitochondria um, inside the cell, inside the adrenal glands. There is mitochondria inside the cell, inside muscles. There is mitochondria inside the cells of liver and brain and all the tissues. And really, it's the mitochondria that at the end of the day produce energy that is responsible for why you're so exhausted. So, so what I wanted to talk to you about is there are certain diets that you can do that will help benefit or at least maximize the potential of the mitochondria and that's really what I want you to start thinking about and and the first and foremost thing that you need to do is to stabilize your blood sugar because all mitochondrial dysfunction precedes insulin resistance or glucose intolerance and that's a real aha moment meaning if you've ever had blood tests and your a1c is ha is high and no matter how much you exercise or how much you eat healthy and you still have some glucose issues you still crash after a meal you still get shaky lightheaded and jittery after a meal then then you have mitochondrial dysfunction because all mitochondrial dysfunction precedes insulin and glucose intolerance so so really what i want you to do is start thinking about its mitochondrial mitochondrial health that we have to impact and really the mitochondria is impacted by your environment and so we need to impact your environment, your mitochondria, your blood sugar levels and specifically I'm going to be speaking about different dietary recommendations that you can do. So basically I just wanted to tell you that it's your mitochondria that are fatigued if you want to say anything besides adrenal fatigue we can call it mitochondrial fatigue. Um, but anyways, I hope you uh, got a lot of value out of this lesson. We're going to be talking more and more about mitochondria, about how to stabilize your blood sugar, about what a proper diet would be for eating to be able to maximize mitochondrial dysfunction. And really, I look forward to helping you in your adrenal fatigue uh, nightmare. Once again, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. Uh, your adrenal fatigue recovery ninja. Uh, please like or share this video if you enjoyed it or be sure to check me out on my blog at youradrenalfatiguesociety.com or adrenalfatiguesociety.com. Thank you so much.